Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I thought that I had done a video on this, but apparently I hadn't. And since I'm going to be using it in another video here shortly, I figured I would just combine both of them and we'll start off with this. And this is a old Star Models ON3 gauge um, Denver and Rio Grande Western Combine that was a kit. It was a wood, one of the old wood kits. I'll put up a couple of pictures and show what it was and kind of the progression of it. And I went with this as me and a friend were, are still working towards the rolling stock or cars. I can't remember what it's called. Achievement for the NMRA achievement program. And we decided that something a little bigger than N-Scale, uh, you know, a lot bigger than N-Scale, would be good to do for kind of the first project that we were doing. And this has been graded. There is a slight change that I've done, and I'll explain that in a second. But um, it passed with enough points to, you know, qualify for, um, you know, the judging that had to be done on it. The only difference that is currently is these are actually the trucks that I had on there. I wasn't thinking far ahead <laughs> or if I was going to do anything. And these are ON3 trucks. And I decided when I was out in the Denver or at the Denver show, I was going to get ON30 trucks so that... Um, you know, it was kind of a little more accessible and a little easier to get track for it if I ever go that route. But, um, so as you saw, I mean, it was just wood and, um, took a little bit to get everything worked out and built up on it. I spent about two and a half months working on it and, um, did some 3D printing of parts, um, mainly, you know, these lockers. And I should say this stuff, or the lockers and kind of the freight that's in there. And then the restroom. I found um, some 3D models for that and printed those out. But the stoves... And the benches were um, some plastic kits from, I believe, San Juan Models. Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. Or San Juan Car Company. They've got a couple of different things with it. But um, that's what, you know, was working on for a little bit there in November. And really liked how it turned out. Really liked how the trucks came out. Um, so I will be going back and airbrushing these ones just to get, you know, that look. And I'm going to just take a piece of paper and mask it. Um, that way it, I'm not too worried about if the steps get a little bit more, but you can see some of the decals are kind of faded a little more than I intended, had intended to with the, uh, airbrushing, but it turned out well in the long run. Um, I'm thinking, oh, I did 3D print this piece and these little roof vents. Um, they didn't have, they didn't come with them. And when I was looking at prototype pictures of it, of the combines, they had um, these little pieces and the roof piece, you were supposed to use another piece of wood, but they didn't, the kit didn't have it. Um, and of course, long gone, can't <laughs> get new parts for it. But anyway, that is what is there. I'm not quite lined up. I'll fix it off camera. But, um, yeah, so Oh, I did 3D print these angle bars in the back. 
uh, these, this, the, oh, can't remember what the end piece is called, but 3D printed that as well, or not 3D printed, I bought that, that was a kit, part of a decal, uh, not decal, detail kit that I got, so there's kind of a mix, some detail parts, some 3D printed, um, and I didn't know how to do this, uh, or my friend, when he did his roof, had this pretty kind of, or the look of it being a little different. And I asked him how he did it, and he said that he used um, just tissues. And so I went and cut some of those to the proper length. You can't really see them. I don't know why. That just must have been the tissue that I was using. But um, I think it turned out really good. So... That, it, ooh, I'm not used to those narrower, just slightly narrower trucks. Anyway, that is the this combine that I built. And we'll get tacked on with the other video coming up here in just a second. So we'll see everybody in just a bit. Okay, I was looking through the box of the larger scale stuff. And realized I hadn't grabbed this end scale kit that I'd found. It's the Huber Mill, Huber Mill Warehouse. Um, JL Innovation actually had the kits built and on display. So it was really cool to, you know, see them and kind of had an idea of where I could put this on the layout. And so I snagged it. As we were kind of wrapping up, we passed the G scale club that was there or one of them. There were a couple. And there was this bobber caboose that, um, you know, had a guy on it and was in pretty good shape. And they had it marked for 25 bucks. And since I like Union Pacific and this is something to, you know, I could put on a shelf, I figured I'd grab it. At some point, I'd like to do some G-Scale, but <laughs> that's a pipe dream. I can dream. Um, the last thing that I bought there was the trucks for the combine. And the reason for that is walking down to leave, we passed a vendor that was selling some ON30 stuff. He had a 260 with DCC already put in it and said that he'd take 125 for it. And so I took it. Um, mainly because I've seen these and they're easily 40 to $70 more than what that was. Um, I really like that it was unlettered. I can letter it up to however I want. Um, probably leaning Denver and Rio Grande Western, but um, that's just kind of preliminary just so that it goes along with the combine and other cars that I hopefully will be building at some point. But I ran it around. Once I got it, I knew I needed some track, so I bought some uh, Kato Unitrack at a local train shop when I was going down to help with the pizza box layouts that our local NMRA division does. And... They had a bunch for half off because it was used. So I grabbed a couple switches and didn't realize how big the Solo was. And I haven't used HO in a while. But I've ran it around a couple of laps. It's running pretty good, runs smooth. So we'll let it run and kind of just let it pull the combine around. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. I know these... Last couple of videos have been kind of wonky with just showing and telling, but I will have some footage from train shows coming up and mainly the Denver one and the local one that has taken some time to get edited together. So we'll end that video with, end this video with some of the train running around and be, see everybody in the next one.